But Sunshine Sunshine is so cute. For this part of the rebel, the rebel, what? It's your girl Jay and today I am here with my August wrap up for 2023. I read a total of 14 books so I will be splitting it up into two separate parts. So these are the first seven books that I read so without further ado let us get started. The first book that I have is Girls Like Girls by Hailey Kiyoko and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. After the unexpected death of her mother, 17 year old Coley moves in with her absentee father in rural Oregon. There she meets a popular girl named Sonia who she instantly feels drawn to. They start hanging out more but they try to hide their connection from everybody around them. I enjoyed this for the most part but I absolutely hated Sonia. I can understand her internal struggle and her need to always be perfect like I feel for you but I'm sorry. She was a shitty human. She was just not a good person and I just could not get behind the romance. It was just so incredibly toxic. I just think that the relationship was very unhealthy and I just wanted to save Coley from Sonia the entire time. Honestly, the only reason I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars instead of a lower rating was because of the relationship between Coley and Curtis, her father. I really liked watching them learn to trust each other once again and I really wish that the focus was more on their relationship and their healing together, but you know, it is what it is. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was okay. Next, I have The Lake House by Sarah Beth Durst, and this is another one I gave 3.5 out of 5 stars. This follows Claire, Rava, and Mariana, who all think that they are heading to Camp Lake House, which is a camp in the middle of the wilderness for the summer. When they arrive, they discover that there has been a fire and that there are no survivors, but then they find a body in the woods and they quickly learn that they are not the only ones on the island. Someone is hunting them and they need to work together in order Order to survive and escape before they are captured. Based on this cover, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that this was like a spooky horror vibe and that's not what I got, so I will say I was disappointed, but it's entirely my fault. This is more so a survival story. I just honestly wanted mass murder and destruction and I did not get that. I did really like the friendship that the girls develop throughout the story. I like how supportive of one another they are, especially with Claire and her panic attacks. I do think that the twist ending was intriguing. I liked how it played out, but the ending ending where the girls go back to the island, that pissed me off. I just, I don't understand it. Why would you want to go back to somewhere that you tried to escape from and then actually escaped and then, like it just make it make sense. Overall it was a very quick read but I don't think it was anything memorable to me so I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Next up we have Barbarian Alien by Ruby Dixon. This is the second book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I'm not gonna lie, these are not good books. They aren't but they are so addictive I can't stop reading them. I do think that Liz kind of sucked in the beginning of the book. I could not stand her but she definitely does grow on you as the story progresses. I did like how fierce she was and how she always stood up for what she wanted, but at times, girl, take a step back and take a breather. You're okay. You know what I'm saying? I loved the will-they-won't-they they relationship between Rahosh and Liz, but I was not the biggest fan of how possessive Rahosh was. I get it, but again, take a step back, take a breather. I did like the banter between Rahosh and Liz. I do think that they were funny together and I did like them in the end. I also just really liked how patient Rahosh was with Liz because if I was him, I don't know if I could do it. But he is just a sweet little mushy boy under that rough exterior, so I, I, did, I did like him. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely intrigued to see where the story and these characters go in the next thousand books that are in this series. I think there's like 20 of them and I will be continuing. And then I have another book that I rated 3.5 out of 5 stars. It is The Odds by Jeff Strand. After a business trip to Las Vegas, Ethan loses a lot of money and so he is very depressed thinking about how he is going to tell his wife and children about all the money he's lost and then he's pulled aside by a man named Rick and he offers him the unthinkable. A chance to win back all of the money. All he has to do is spin a wheel and land on any of the 99 numbers except for zero. If he does not land on zero, he gets that money, but if he lands on zero, they're gonna break his arm. 
And since he is desperate, Ethan agrees to these odds, but he will soon regret this decision as the game continues and he realizes he can't get out of it. This is a very fast-paced, fairly short thriller that I had a lot of fun with. Right from the very first page, you are pulled into the game and you're needing to know what is going to happen next, what Ethan is going to have to do, what the odds are. I thought the concept was very intriguing. I was very interested to see if Ethan would take the odds. I just couldn't get enough of seeing what Ethan was gonna have to do. The only complaint that I really have about this book is that the reader is left completely in the dark about who is running the game and the why behind this game. It was just a little bit frustrating because as the story progresses you see that the game is bigger and bigger, but we never know why. We never know who, we never know anything other than it's happening. I definitely liked the second half of the book better when we kind of got a little bit more information, but it's still not enough. Like, I still have no idea what the heck was going on. I did really like the ending though. It is something that I did not expect whatsoever. So that was a fun little twist, but I would definitely be interested in checking out more of this author's work because I've never even heard of them before, but I was into this. So I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was Mixed Signals by BK Borison. This is the third book, I believe, in the Love Light Farms series. I haven't read the first two in the series, but it might as well be a standalone because I fully understood what was going on. Maybe just a couple of character cameos I didn't know who they were, but I really liked this. I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This follows Layla Dupree, who has very bad luck in dating. She always seems to pick the wrong guy. Caleb, a regular at her bakery, is celebrating a family member's birthday party at the same restaurant where she just had her most recent terrible date. He swoops in and proposes that they should fake date for one month in order to kind of practice for the real thing. But as that month progresses, they quickly realize that they actually have a lot of chemistry together and they start to fall for one another. I really enjoyed this. It definitely gave me like Hallmark movie vibes. I freaking love these two characters so much. Caleb is probably one of the sweetest little cinnamon roll love interests I have ever read about. He is a consent king, which we love. I just loved how much he cared about Layla. He is giving golden retriever to the max. I honestly think he just reminds me of my own boyfriend and that's why I like him so much. Layla was also very sweet and I think that their chemistry together was off the charts. The sexual tension was insane. Their relationship is definitely slow burn. We love mutual pining. They really don't want to tell each other how they feel when it was so obvious to literally everybody else, but it's fine. Mutual pining is an okay in my books. Also, huge, huge fan of the fake dating trope. I also learned that I really love the sunshine and sunshine trope because I've only read Grumpy Sunshine, but Sunshine Sunshine is so cute. I was rooting for these two within the first couple of pages, so I just knew I was gonna eat this book up. I am also in love with the ending. I just thought it was so, so cute. I am taking off half a star because of the third act drama. It just felt so unnecessary. I don't know why it was there. It wasn't needed. 4.5 out of 5 stars. We'll definitely be checking out more from Lovelight Farms. Next up, I have Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. It follows Isabel, who is a very talented painter, and she spends her days creating portraits for the fair folk. When the Autumn Prince Rook shows up on her doorstep asking for a portrait, she makes the mistake of painting human sorrow in his eyes. Furious at her for showing weakness in him, Rook decides to sweep her away to the fairy court to hold trial for her crimes. On their journey to the fairy court, they run into a lot of obstacles, including falling in love. I've decided that Margaret Rogerson is an autobi author for me at this point. I really enjoy everything she writes. I just think that her writing style is so fun and immersive. I finished this in one sitting. It was so fast-paced and I was just enjoying it so much that I did not put it down. I really loved how the Fae in this were so mischievous. It was so much fun to read about. I really liked how smart Isabel was. She always seemed to be one step ahead of the Fae folk, which I really liked. Also, big fan of Rook. He was such a jerk sometimes, but like in a weirdly charming way. 
I really liked Isabel and Rook's banter with each other. They had me giggling more than once during the story. I would definitely consider their relationship to be insta-lovey, which I am usually not a fan of. I cannot stand into love but something about these two just worked for me. I also just really loved March and May who are Isabel's twin sisters who used to be goats before they were turned into children. I just think that they were such a fun addition to the story. I would read an entire book just based off of those two. I would really love any book in this world with these characters but I don't think it's coming anytime soon but I really like this, four out of five stars. Definitely read it if you haven't. It is an oldie, but a goodie. And then the final book that I'm going to talk about for this part of the wrap up is Devil in the Device by Laura Beth Johnson. This is the final book in the Goddess in the Machine duology. I give it a 3.5 out of five stars. I definitely did not enjoy it as much as I did the first book. I just felt that it really dragged and it didn't really become interesting to me until the last little bit of the book when all the twists started coming to light. I did like the plot twists, I just felt that it took way too long to get there. This is told in dual point of view between Andra and Zaid. I definitely liked Andra's point of view better, but I do also think that's because Zaid's chapters had a lot of vocabulary that was made up, and it's like their language, and I found it very jarring in the first book, still found it jarring in this book. It just made the reading experience very clunky and made it a little bit harder to follow. It also made me sad that Andra and Zaid barely interacted in this story. I really liked them together in the first book so it was just a little disappointing that you didn't really get that in this book. It also ends on what seems like a cliffhanger but as far as I know this is the only two books in the duology so maybe there's going to be a spin-off series or something but I also believe that this was released a fair bit ago so I don't know but it seems like there could be a spin-off, so that that might be happening. I don't know, but 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was okay, but not as good as the first book. All right, everybody, so those were the first seven books that I read for the month of August 2023. Part two of my wrap-up with the last seven books that I read for a total of 14 will be up on my channel soon, hopefully, once I film the video and edit it, but it's soon. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>